Hi everyone, this is lesson two of the updated 2024 data pack, the first one. Hope you're still with me, I hope I've not killed you off too much. So we're talking about outliers now. So there might be some values which are either massively too small or massively too big, and you just think to yourself, do you know what, they're just daft. Now we can now identify them, depending on if we're using the mean and the standard deviation or the quartiles um, so there is two different ones for so an outlier. So we're looking at being greater than Q3 plus one and a half times the interquartile range, or less than Q1 minus the interquartile range. And we're looking at uh, an outlier could be more than two standard deviations away from the mean. So if I've got something which is less than mu minus two sigmas, or something which is greater than mu plus two sigmas there. So this one works with the quartiles. This one works with the mean and sigma, the standard deviation there. So it says you should be able to comment on how things would change if the outliers were, were removed. So we can do that. This, we call it cleaning the data. So there might be errors that are dead obvious, or it might be because these are just going to identify issues. So these just identify it. It might be that, well, actually, the data's true, it's just you know, just what it is, right? So it says the mean and standard deviation are significantly affected by the outliers, uh, where the median and the interquartile range aren't. So there you go. Right, so let's have a go. So, okay. Right. So if I put these into my calculator, this is just a reference. So it's just telling you what like, number it is. This is the only information that goes in list one. So I've not got 314 of 472. It's just a reference number. Right? So that doesn't go in your calculator. That bit, the bottom line just goes in list one. That's all. Right then, so if I look at less than Q1 minus 1.5 lots of Q3 minus Q1. Now if you put them in your calculator, and I'm sure you dutifully have, you will have 127 for the lower quartile and 192 for the upper quartile. Maybe I should have wrote that at the side here somewhere. But Q1 is 127 and Q3 is 192. So that's what the completed part got anyway, and I'm just being sneaky for speed and just copying. So if it's less than 29.5, there's a possibility that it's an outlier. Or I'm looking at greater than Q3 plus 1.5 lots of Q3 minus Q1. So greater than 192 plus one and a half lots of. 192 minus 127. So anything which is greater than uh, 289.5 there. So we've got in ours, uh, are there any outliers? So if you look, there are no numbers below the 29.5, but we have got 314, so 314 is an outlier, as 314 is greater than 289.5. So that's kind of, oh, oh no, 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 don't do that, Dave. Uh, put that back there, sorry. There. Let's try the other way now. So I want less than x bar minus two lots of sigmas. So that would be less than, so I've got from my calculator, I got x bar out to be 160.25 and sigma out of 66.06. I tell a lie, I didn't, the completed that did. Uh, so what I've got, so I've got 160.25 minus two lots of 66.06. The completed pack says 28.13 or greater than 
x bar plus 2 lots of sigma. So greater than 160. 0.25 plus 2 lots of 66.06. So greater than 292.37. So once again, 314 is an outlier. There. So there's a possible issue with the 314 in both different ways. All right, so I'm looking at the next page. Are you okay with that? I'll be happy. Get around to back, are you? Um, Right, let's have a look at question two then, so we're on nearly six minutes. As soon as I've done this question, I'm going to have to finish there. So outliers define more than two standard means, you've been 15 students, blah, blah, blah. There, right, okay. So you put them in your calculator, and it gives you more than one mode. I need to pause this and put it on down. Let me pause it, I'll put the numbers. Right, everyone, right, so if I just do the one there on this and go down, there's my... my lower quartile, medium, and upper quartile. Well, look, it gives me different modes here. 36, 39, and 40. It gives me as a mode. So there's more than one mode on that question. Oops. So my mode is 36, 39, and 40. It gives the median as 39. It gave the mean as 36.7, and sigma as... Oh, there's 7.33, something like that. There's 7.33 there. So one outlier, so if I check, if I cheat and I look at less than uh, x bar minus two sigmas, if I put those numbers in, it gives me less than 22.04. Have I got any numbers less than 22.04? I haven't. So let's try greater than x bar plus two sigmas. So if I put those and put the numbers in the 36.7 and 7.33, that gives me greater than 51.36. So have I got any numbers bigger than 51.36? No. So I've got no outliers. So that's nice. Give one possible reason for removing an outlier. Oh no, hang on, I've got one lesson. Got. Oh, look at that random 13 snuck away in there. Oh, you donkey. This is what happens when you're rushing at the end. Look, I have. I've got like 13 as an outlier. There. So C says, give one possible reason for removing it and one for not removing it. So a reason for removing it is that it's wrong. It might have been, should be 31 maybe, got the numbers the wrong way around. Uh, and one possibility for not removing it is it's an actual, uh, correct, data. That makes sense. So if we remove it, if we remove the D, what's it going to do? Right, so for, the, for removing the 13, it's going to have no effect on the mode. But the median, if you think that 13 was lower down, so it's going to kind of shunt the numbers around a little bit. And if you kind of follow what happens... So removing the 13 shunts the number one further along to the right in your number list. So that will increase it. For the mean, it should also increase it. Mean increase. Think about the standard deviation. As a rough guess on the range, it was going from 13 up to it. But now it isn't going from 13. It's going from about 32. So your kind of massive spread is much smaller. So your standard deviation will decrease because instead of going between 13 and 40 odd, whatever it is, it's now going from 32. So I'm going to have to stop there. Uh, I hope that's all right. <laughs> I'll see you later.